Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about creating Laravel 9 project and layout setup for the e-commerce project. In this Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial series, we will create complete e-commerce website. For designing, we will use Bootstrap 5 HTML template. This is the HTML template which I will use in this Laravel 9 e-commerce project. You can see here this is the home page. Okay. I have already shared this HTML template on my GitHub page. For getting this HTML template, just go to the google.com and uh, here uh, simply search subside media github okay now just click on this first link and uh, from here uh, you can download uh, this html template okay so just open this repository and uh, from here just download this zip file Okay, now just open this and extract the zip file. So just click on extract file. Okay, and uh, you can see here the HTML template. Okay. All right, now first of all, let's create a new Laravel 9 project. So for creating the uh, Laravel 9 project just open the my computer and go to the C drive and then XAM stdocs and here let's open the command prompt so inside the URL just type here the CMT and hit enter all right now for creating the new Laravel 9 project just type here the command composer command which is composer a space create dash project a space laravel slash uh, laravel a space project name uh, let's say project name is laravel 9 e-commerce okay now hit enter Alright, project has been created. Now switch to the project directory. So just write here cd and uh, directory name which is laravel 9 e-commerce. Okay. Now uh, let's install the live wire. So uh, for that just run the command composer require the space live wire slash live wire okay now hit enter Alright, now let's open uh, this project inside the Visual Studio code. So just open the Visual Studio code first and uh, here just click on open folder. Now go to the C drive, XAM, stdocs and select the project directory which is this one Laravel 9 e-commerce. Okay. Alright, now let's create a new database. So uh, 
let's open the php my admin so just write here localhost class php my admin now just click on new enter the database name uh, let's database name is laravel 9 e-commerce db okay now just copy this database name and click on create okay now switch to the project and just open the .env file and here let's configure the database so inside this just uh, add here the database name which is this one laravel 9 e-commerce db username root and password in my case which is blank okay now save this and now just close this alright now let's run this project so switch to the command prompt and here uh, just type the command laravel sorry php artisan serve ok now hit enter now it's running on localhost 8000 port so go to the localhost and 8000 port ok and here is the laravel new project you can see here laravel 9.34 this is the laravel version and here is the php version 8.1.1 ok now let's implement our html template this html template on our e-commerce project okay so for doing this switch to the project and uh, just go inside the resources directory then views and inside the view uh, first of all let's create a new folder and let's say folder name is layouts okay and inside this layout directory, uh, let's create a new file app.blade.php. Okay. Now go to the template directory. Here is the template. Now let's open this index.html file in any text editor. So open with Notepad. And uh, from this index.html file, just select all the text, control A, control C, and now go to the app.blade.php file and paste here. Okay. Now inside this file, uh, let's change here the style sheet URL inside this style sheet href URL simply copy this and uh, add here double query packet cut this and uh, add here asset single quote and paste here ok uh, same thing inside this style city URL so just copy this and paste here add here single quote parenthesis and double query packet ok now uh, do same thing inside this uh, five icon url so just copy this and paste here and also add your single quote parenthesis and double curly bracket okay now inside the script on the page footer just press alt shift and drag for multiple line selection and just add your double curly bracket as it parenthesis single quote and press int int key and here just add single quote parenthesis and double curly bracket okay now inside this src just copy this one and paste here okay copy and paste All right, now save this file. Now let's create a component, LiveWire component for the home. So go to the command prompt and uh, here, uh, 
uh, first of all stop the running server so just press ctrl plus c and now for creating the live wire component for the home uh, just run the command php artisan make colon live wire okay and here just add the component name which is home component all right now hit enter okay now uh, let's run the application so just write here php artisan serve all right now switch to the project and let's open the home component so inside the resources directory views and uh, live wire and you can see here the home component uh, blade file so just open this and inside this view file uh, just open the this layout file and from this layout file here is the header section and uh, this is the main section okay so just select this main section and uh, cut from here and paste inside the home component .php file okay so just remove this and paste here okay now save this file and inside the layout file here for rendering the home component just type here double curly bracket dollar slot okay and also add here inside the header tag liveware styles okay and create liveware styles and on the footer after this and before this closing body tag just add here liveware scripts this one okay add the create liveware scripts now save this file all right now uh, let's create the route for this home component so go to the routes directory and uh, let's open the web.php file and here first of all just comment this default route so press ctrl plus c and now let's create the new route so right here route get add here the url forward slash and then uh, class name component class name which is home component colon colon class okay and also set here the route name so right here name home dot index okay now save this file now go to the template directory and from here uh, let's copy this asset assets folder so just copy and go to the project directory and open the public folder and inside this public folder just paste here the assets directory okay all right now it's done so let's check it so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now you can see here the home page okay so in this way you can create project and implement the html template so that's all about creating project and layout setup for the e-commerce so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching